hi, it's me, Markel. Don't you just love music? I sure do. A good song can lift your spirits and make any day better. It makes you wanna get in the mix and face the day with confidence. This week, we're talking about the biggest reason we can live with confidence. Remember, true confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. We don't have to wonder how God feels about us. We know that he knows us. We know that we belong. We know how much he cares about us because we can see the way his son, Jesus, treated people when he was on earth. Today, we'll find out another big reason that we can have confidence because of our relationship with him. But first, I've got an awesome game that will test your knowledge of musical instruments. It's called Play It By Ear. You'll hear a sound and you'll try to guess what instrument it is. If it's just you, see how many you can get right out of 10. Or if there are other people there with you, you can play against them. Whoever shouts out the correct answer first gets a point. Keep track of your score and see who has the most points at the end. Let's get started. Here's our first instrument. What do you think? It's a piano. Next. You got it. It's a guitar. All right, here's the next one. That's right, it's a trumpet. All right, try to get this one. <laughs> That's right, cymbals. All right, let's try this next one. It's a saxophone. How are you doing so far? Good? Well, get ready, because the instruments are about to get a lot more challenging. Here we go. Do you guys know what those are? Turntables. All right, here's the next instrument. It's a trombone. Here we go. That's right, a xylophone. Here's the next instrument. It's a recorder. All right, here's the last and final instrument. That one's called a didgeridoo. <laughs> that was fun. Don't you wish you had a didgeridoo to play right now? But that's okay, because you do have an instrument you can use right now, your voice. Go ahead and stand up and get ready to sing and worship God together. Oh, hello there, campers. I'm Elle, and welcome to day three of Summer XP. I'm so excited to worship with you this morning because we get to do press play again and trust you with my heart. I really like press play because there's this one move where you pull up, and I think it's on feet are stomping and parties hopping, or the other way around. Um, and also our bottom line for today is that I can have confidence because I am forgiven. I'm so excited to worship with you guys today. So let's press play. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Y'all yeah. ready? Yeah. Press play. Get in the 
the mix. Clap your hands like this. Have confidence to get in the mix. Now clap your hands like this. Like this. Have confidence to get in the mix. Now clap your hands like this. Like this. Everybody get in the mix. Get in the mix. We're not stopping. Get in the mix. The party's stopping. Get in the mix. Everybody say. What are you doing, John? Oh, hey, hey, Brandon, I'm listening to some new theme song submissions. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, I thought we would need a new theme song. Oh, great. where are you getting these submissions from? Oh, everywhere. Here, here, here. Let's try a few. Oh, sure. All right, here we go. Um, and. So and so show. Yes, sir. So and so show. Yes, sir. So and so show, and we're ready to go. We got our hats. Yes, sir. We got our boots. Yes, sir. We're going country back to our roots. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop singing it's the. Yes, sir. Mm. Eh. All right. You gotta go, gotta go to so and so. You gotta go, gotta go to so and so. You gotta go to so and so. so, and so. Ah! All right, it's the so and so show, and we're gonna go in three, two. Okay, how about this? The next one we choose is the one we'll go with. All right. All right. Let's do this. Deal. This is the theme to the so and so show. That's right, the theme to the so and so show. We're ready, don't you know? But first, here's our logo. This is the theme to the So and So Show. Yeah! Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John, he's Brandon, and I hope you are ready for a humdinger of a show. Humdinger? Yeah, huh? because I have a surprise for you, buddy. Oh, it's not your collection of nose hairs, is it? No, no one touches my nose hair collection. No one would. <laughs> I signed us up for the annual Mega Movie Mania Trivia Contest. No, you, no, you oh, didn't. Oh, I did, I did. You see, Brandon here knows more movie facts than a movie database and is definitely more reliable. Well, not, not, not always. Yeah, but three years ago, Brandon talked me into entering the Mega Movie Mania Trivia Contest with him. He told me not to worry about it, that he had it covered, but we... We, we, we lost. That's actually putting it mildly. We didn't lose. We got destroyed, spanked, walloped, put in a blender, and set to mince. We didn't even get a single question right. All right, that, thanks. Oh, see, look, even now, three years later, whenever someone brings it up, he can't even talk about it. He said he froze. But I know what really happened. Hey, Brandon, what are you doing? 73, don't bother me. I'm trying for the new record. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be practicing for the Mega Movie Mania Trivia Contest? John, my boy, don't worry about it. I got it in the bag. No need to practice when you are the best. One. Okay. Two. 
Three. You knew? Yeah, that you got a big head and lost because you didn't practice. Yeah, I knew I was there, but I let it slide. Not anymore. It's been three years, Brandon. Three years. Yeah, but I... You gotta let it go. It's holding you back, Brandon. Your confidence is totally gone. You're like a, a big bowl of... Of wet jello. I am. We lost because you were being overconfident, arrogant, presumptuous. I get it. But you know what? I forgive you. You do? I do. And it's time. It's time. It's way past time, buddy. I want to do it. Yeah, you do. Then there's only one thing left to do. Well, hey everybody, my name is Brandon Passion and I'm the worship pastor here at CPC and I'm excited to hang out with you guys because this week we've been talking about where our confidence comes from and we found that the more you get to know Jesus and the more you understand how much he loves you, the more confident you can be. I mean, think about it. Jesus knows each of us better than anyone, but to him, we all belong. Like, doesn't it feel great to know that someone feels that way about you? Yeah, I know. I think so, too. But not only does God know us completely, it also means that he knows when we mess up. He knows when we sin. And when we mess up, those are times when we're choosing not to follow God's ways. And we're choosing to step away from him. And that can be a real bummer because we want to have a close relationship with Jesus, right? And we want it to stay that way. And if we put distance between us and him, when we mess up, how can we get close to him again? How does Jesus feel about when our relationship with him then? Well, we can find out when we see how Jesus treated a man who was a sinner and his name was Zacchaeus. And it's all right here in the Bible. So here we have Zacchaeus. For our purposes today, it's this little guy. You can see he has money in his mouth because Zac Zacchaeus lived in Jericho. And as you can see, he was a very, very rich man, or in this case, shark. Just look at how fancy he is, man. He, he's just rolling it. And look at all that cash. He's got lots of money. I mean, Zacchaeus was just rolling in dough. He was walking into the clubs, making it rain. But you see, he was a tax collector and his job was to collect the money that the people owed the enemy Roman government. But he didn't just take what he owed. He took more than they owed. And he kept the extra money to pay himself. Not only that, but Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector, which meant that he was in the charge of all of the other tax collectors. So he took a cut of their money too. So Zacchaeus was really, really, really rich. Hence, all the money in the jaws. And from his neighbor's money, there were people in the town who were poor, but not Zacchaeus. He was rich. Now, how do you think the rest of the people in Jericho felt about a guy like that? Like, do you think he was their BFF? I'm thinking probably not. I mean, he'd gotten rich from their money. The people probably hoped that someday someone would tell Zacchaeus to stop. They hoped that maybe he'd get in trouble for the wrong things he'd done. It would only be fair. I mean, right? He should get in trouble. Well, one day an honored visitor came to town. And yes, I'm talking about Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is, this is what I could find here, the Lamb. So this is representing Jesus. And everybody in Jericho had heard about Jesus. 
And they knew how he had taught amazing things and he healed people who were sick and they had heard that he claimed to be the son of God. Nice. So Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but just like everyone else did. And he wasn't tall enough to see over the crowd. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever been in a crowd and you're like, I want to see, I want to see, but you couldn't see it. Maybe a parade at Disneyland or something like that. So what did he think he did? He tried to stand on his tiptoes and that didn't work. So he did what I think any short person would do. And he decided to find something taller. And in this case, a sycamore tree. Enter our sycamore tree. So Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. So Zacchaeus made his way up into this tree and perched himself at the top there so he could see down to Jesus. And when Jesus passed underneath the tree, he looked up and he looked at Zacchaeus and he called him and he said, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus was thrilled that Jesus wanted him to come to his house. He welcomed Jesus gladly. And the other townspeople saw what was happening. And again, do you think they were happy that Jesus was hanging out with Zacchaeus of all people? No, they were not happy at all. So the townspeople began to whisper to each other. And this is in the Bible in Luke 19, 7. They said this, Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Just then, Zacchaeus stood up and declared that he was a changed man. Wow. He was overwhelmed by the love and friendship Jesus showed him. And he told Jesus that he would give half of what he owned to those who were poor. Half of what he owned. And he promised to pay back anyone who had cheated him. He said he'd pay back four times what he had taken. That means if he took $100 from you, that he was going to pay you back $400. That's crazy. And this is another part of the Bible. He said, Jesus said to Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to your house. Today salvation has come to your house. Jesus forgave Zacchaeus for what he did wrong. Look, nobody would have said that Zacchaeus was a good guy. When they saw how he was getting rich from those other people in the town, but everything changed when Jesus chose to forgive Zacchaeus. Jesus' forgiveness gave Zacchaeus the confidence he needed to change his ways. It made him want to make things right that he had done wrong in the past. You see, the most amazing thing that Jesus did for us when he died on the cross, he did it so that we could be forgiven too, not just Zacchaeus. All of us have messed up. All of us have made mistakes. But Jesus paid the price for us. And he died for our sins so that we can be friends with our perfect, loving God forever. And if we put our faith in Jesus and believe, we'll know that he'll forgive us too. I put my faith in Jesus. And I want to do my best to follow him and live his way every single day. But when I mess up, and I do mess up, I know that he still loves me. I know that I never have to worry about what I've done wrong or anything I might do wrong in the future because Jesus will always forgive me. And this is our bottom line. I can have confidence because I'm forgiven. Friends, that is really, really good news. So let's pray and let's thank God for forgiving us. God, thank you for this story of Jesus and Zacchaeus. It's amazing to think that Jesus loved us so much that he died on the cross to pay the price for our sins. And now, because of that, we can have a close relationship with you. And all we have to do is believe. Nothing can ever separate us from your love because of the way you promised to forgive us. God, would you help us live with confidence every day because we know that we're forgiven. We love you and we pray these things in your name. Amen. All right, see you later, guys.
I love that we're forgiven because I don't know about you, John, but I mess up a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that time you goofed off and lost the Mega Movie Mania Trivia Contest. You forgave me for that. Th that's true. Yeah, and it feels, it, 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 it feels, you know what? Reveal the question. What does it feel like to be forgiven? I'd say you've forgiven me for, for being an overconfident, arrogant. Presumptuous. All the things. It's, it's a pretty incredible feeling. It, it makes me feel like I can let go of the mistakes I've made in the past so I can do what's right next time. That's awesome. What do you all think? What does it feel like to be forgiven? I know what I feel like right now. Peanut butter and onion smoothie? No. I feel like winning a Mega Movie Mania Trivia Contest. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Good show, John. Thank you. It really was a humdinger. Told you. We'll <laughs> see you next time for a brand new show. Guess what we're finished with, the so-and-so show. That's right, we're all done with the so-and-so show. It's over, don't you know. I guess we better go. Hey, please check back for more. So and so show. Every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start Trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Whoa, whoa, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart you with my heart. Can you imagine how Zacchaeus must have felt when he knew that Jesus wanted to be his friend? <laughs> wow, I mean, Zacchaeus completely turned his life around when he understood how much Jesus loved him. And then, can you imagine how Zacchaeus must have felt when he knew that Jesus had forgiven him? This is a good question for all of us to think about. What does it feel like to be forgiven? The truth is, I think I can imagine how Zacchaeus felt. After all, I've messed up just like he did, and Jesus has forgiven me too. All of us have done things that we know are wrong, 
but we can still have a close relationship with Jesus when we believe and put our faith in him. We know for sure that he will forgive us. You see, God sent Jesus for a very important reason. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. If you believe and trust that Jesus died on the cross for you, then you have an amazing promise. You have the promise of eternal life. You have a relationship with God that will last forever, and that will change the way you live every day. It will help you live with confidence because you know that the things you've done wrong will never come between you and God. So if you mess up, talk to God about it. He loves you, he will forgive you, and he'll give you a fresh start every time. Remember, I can have confidence because I am forgiven. If you've never put your faith in Jesus before, or if you're not sure, then talk to someone about it. Talk to your mom or dad or another relative who you know have put their faith in Jesus. Believing in Jesus is the most important decision you could ever make. See you next time.